after the academies. It was a fantastic place to go and play, and it was always a big game for us. We probably knew a little bit more about the rivalry than these uh, fantastic talents these days. Probably rubbed into us by the likes of Graham Ricks and Williams and, and such like back then. Gwynn's been up at Leeds as well, of course, yeah. with uh, Ken Bates. That's a nice touch from Mulhern. The ball looking for McDade, and it's a header on target. It's a simple one for Bradley Collins. It's his first work of the night. Of them tend to play with Danny Vivash and the under-21s, but aside from Boga, this is it. Carl Scott is a more than worthy deputy as a number 10. Excellent play by Jay De Silva, who's then just brushed off it by the much bigger Frank Mulhern, but then he wins it back. Well done him. And a good pass at the end of it. That was definitely clever of Joe Edwards to break off there. Oh, Carl Scott, lovely ball for Solanke. And still Dob Solanke! Corner. Corner could so easily have been the opening goal. What a brilliant move that was, left to right and in again. Beautiful ball. Brighton breezy, nine minutes at Ellen Road, where temperatures are expected to dip just below zero by the end of tonight. I think like we expected, Chelsea knocking it around quite comfortably. Keeping the ball, leads bar that first little foray in the, the first couple of minutes that ended in the, in the header. They've not really got into it as of yet. McDade flipping one over the top. Oh, and Cruz could be in here. Olorena made a bit of a mess of that. And it's a chance here for Pateo Cruz. Bradley Collins has done well just to put him off. Brilliant goalkeeping. Yeah, Collins did so well there to hold him up. Really should have scored. So on top. 2 0 up and Cruz. It conceded two late ones, then scored a 94th minute winner. Could be like that at youth team level sometimes. Leeds have another crack from the corner. Izzy Brown was the first man with the header. Charlie Mushinder not there. Big deflection, Leeds won a penalty. Bad throw from De Silva, Jason Blunt definitely not thinking the uh, decisions are going his way. Long ball that Tammy Abraham's trying to turn into something and Tammy Abraham has turned it into something. And off he goes, running at Tom Pierce. Oh, and he's upended, penalty! Foul off the ball, idiotic challenge, what's he done that for? Completely mistimed it, the ball's running out, he's in a bit of bit of trouble there himself, I think he's injured himself, but yeah, Tammy Abraham was going nowhere, it looks like he's overrun it, and uh, there was no need to make the tackle to what be completely frank, it was do. running out of play. Very direct though, I think that's going to be a bit, bit of a mismatch, him against Tom Pierce at left back. But, uh, David Peacock Farrell hasn't had a real save to make, I don't think, in this game so far, but... Defenders have done the blocking for him, but on this occasion, his defenders have inspired to bring Chelsea a penalty and a chance here in the 20th minute for Izzy Brown to put the holders one up, and he does. First blood to Chelsea. Izzy Brown, no mistake, 1-0. Great penalty at that height. Very, very difficult for the goalkeeper. You never get in If you get that elevation on the ball, it's very difficult. They're coming from a standing start. Great penalty. You're not going to save those, are you? There's never a keeper in the world who dives high. No, he had a little look at him as well. It was irrelevant that he went the right way. Great penalty, real force behind the strike. McDade had a, a good opportunity and, and obviously the mistake from Aina, which let in Krause for an opportunity. So they've, they've done OK. They won't be too disheartened. Here is Cruz again. Tougher angle and a tougher ask this time. Three clean sheets for Chelsea this season. He was the coach of the 18s when they won it prior to that. Incredible record. Under 21's boss now to many of these players. End out basis. That's a great ball for Mulhern. It's under Collins and wide. Another important save. I don't know how much he knew about that one. That's an even better chance for Leeds. Midair, and they don't like that referee. Yeah. Well, I don't understand it. It's a, it's a, I mean, that one wasn't as dangerous, but oh well. First one. Have his name taken. You're a centre forward. You're going to make going to make fouls. 
That's a good ball, and it's a really good chance, and McDade put it wide. That's two headers he's had, and that one was a lot simpler than the first. And he's pulled away from Jake Clark Sorter again. In his defence, not a lot of power on the cross, so again, you've got to generate, got to generate it with a header, use the old neck muscles. But he's getting away from Jake Clark Sorter there, maybe Jada Silva's got to tuck in. The other... The other he was a the manager there for a bit, wasn't he? Did he play? Uh, Did he a player? He played, play, but... I presume he was who got Torre in, him and Gus Poirier, was it? Yes, that counts. I'll have that. Here's Mulhern again. And it's another effort. It might have just been curling off target anyway, but Bradley Collins could certainly not be sure of that. He made sure with the, with the save. And he is a real threat. He leads skipper Mulhern, isn't he? I don't think Collins had a great view on it. He only saw it late and sensible to just push it past the post. He's been good. He's brushed players off the ball in the middle of the park and looked to thread at the sharp end. In comes the Leeds corner. Is he Brown with the header away? Chelsea, this will be good for them. If they can weather it, it'll be even better. They can extend the lead on the break better still. Is he Brown? Here he goes. Carl Scott bursting forward. Dom Solanke ahead of him. This is Carl Scott. Leeds suddenly back in numbers. Excellent quick retreat from them. Scott again. Is he Brown? It's a Tammy Abraham. Oh, what a chance. He's waiting for a flag to go up. Let's have a look at Izzy Brown, well, we will do in a minute. Old Rocky, bless him. What a great influence he was on the young players when I first come to the club. We had Mark Steen and him, more often than not, in the reserve group, in with the youth team, uh, cast aside for the, the first team, not getting the game, and what a professional he was. Unbelievable skills. Carl Scott onside here, kicking the ball away, Izzy Brown. That's what the uh, caution was for. Musonda into Brown again. Yeah, that's been... They've had a bit more of the ball, they've been able to retain it in the last five, ten minutes. They've grown in confidence. Good use of the body from Charlie Musonda there. Now, this is Colkett, who won it on his left, and he's got it there now. Charlie Colkett hits the post. Maybe via deflection. That's Izzy Brown. And cleared. Yeah, you could tell when the ball came. That's what Joe and Jody would be hoping for down there. It's Charlie Musonda. Fikeo Tamori. Come through right the way from under eight. And Chelsea has Fikeo. That's a ball that's going to work out here for McDade. And Bradley Collins came out and didn't get there. Jake Clark Salter will tidy up. Now, what's the referee going to do here? Big decision. Red card, Bradley Collins. Such a good first half. His second half has lasted half a minute. And here they come. There's no need for that, is it? Shenanigans after the sending off. I think once the referee's given it, though, he's got to send him off. We'll have to see it again to see if it is a foul. There is contact. Yeah, I don't know. Jake Clark sort of getting back there. You could argue that one. I mean, it looks like Jake's in front of him. He's going to get to the ball first, probably. It's a good run initially. He's been a threat, hasn't he, McDade? And he needs making those run runs in behind all night. He was found wonderfully well there, and he's just got a little nick on the ball. Ola Eina with the throw. It's a good long one. And here's Solanke. Dom Solanke. Blocked. Probably wouldn't have got past the keeper anyway, even if it hadn't have been. Yeah, pushed himself a little wide. He's very two-footed, though, isn't he, Dom Solanke? Pierce. Samak doing the chasing. The freshest legs out there. Belong to the Chelsea sub, Ruben Samak. He's definitely taken up that holding midfield role. Carl Scott and Charlie Colkin in there as well. Good run, decent cross, and Thompson came with the physical there. The follow up is straight at Chelsea's substitute keeper, and a good job too. Yeah, there was a good ball in. Thompson dealt with Noticeable how much deeper Chelsea are before they start the press, which is coming here, and it's worked well. Tony Abraham stuck out a long leg, couldn't make it stick there. Into the final 19 of the 19. It's tight. And funnily enough, after all that bubbling under Niggle earlier, the second half actually to calm things down. But here comes McDade now. Oh, it's another good ball. 
It could have gone absolutely anywhere. Tyler Bell, the substitute, the thread again. It's a goal kick to Chelsea. It could have been a whole lot worse. Five clear chances against 11. And what? One? Half again against against the 10? No, it is. They just sit in and they, you know, it's almost come, come and take us on. Lovely ball from Colkett to Carl Scott. Now Dom Solanke's onside here. Oh, he couldn't get enough on the finish, but it's still gone in. I can't believe it's squeezed through, but it has. There's the two-goal cushion. Ten men, no bother. Leeds nil, Chelsea two. That was always a worry for Leeds, wasn't it? Put so much into it. One ball from Carl Scott. Little angled run from Solanke. Did everything right in the first instance. Choked his shot horrifically. And um, I think we saw one of... At the weekend like that, was it Gareth Barry on the line? And, uh, Ericsson at Spurs choked one in identical to that, wasn't it? The defenders just got ahead of the ball. And looking at that, he couldn't have done a great deal about it, actually. Big relief all round for Chelsea. I just want to have a word for the captain in the build-up to that. Charlie Colkett's pass up to Carl Scott. It was beautiful. First okay. time through the Charlie Colkett over to the touchline. He went and relayed all the information over to the side. I really, really like that. And... Uh, the way they've set up since they've gone down to 10, they've not not been asked too many questions of, really. Casey Palmer doing brilliantly to win back possession there. Oh, and he slipped it through for Solanke here. Oh, excellent stop from Peacock Farrell. Really would have put the gloss on it. Probably should have done brilliant work from Casey Palmer in the build-up. Here's again. It's a bit of keep in that. It's Bennett, is it? Bennett's all end up, all ends up again. There he was at maybe questionably at fault for that second goal, and he's given the ball away there to Casey Palmer. Beautiful ball with the outside of the right foot. Solanke's really got a score. He'd have fancied it. You know what I mean? I think, like was a, I think it was a foul. He has, he has collided with that bloke and gone over. Whether I mean whether he's overdone it or not is another. But it was a foul. Hardly, I don't think it was enough to. Totally simulation. No. Oh well. Hopefully it won't matter. Just don't stick out a leg in these next few minutes and there won't be a ban. Banji to Asenso. Chelsea still hunting in packs and working hard in the middle. There's Ruben Samet tidying up. And Colkett again hit. A little bit of space and normally that means a good pass. And indeed it was he's to Olorena, who's got great pace, Olorena. The angle's against him. And he's not that much of a finisher. If Leads now into the realms of... Uh, Consolation goal, rather than that actually getting back on terms, and I don't think that's going to happen either. Now, a look at the watch from David Benton. And he's still looking, and bang on the six, there is the final whistle. Izzy Brown with the first half penalty, Dom Solanke late on. A different kind of test passed tonight, Sam, by these Chelsea boys. Yeah, absolutely. Very different from what we've seen them from them this season. Free flowing, and you know, uh, Cobham certainly been taking teams to the cleaners. But tonight they've had to.